Hello. Hello, Mr. Marsh. Hello, Mr. John. Hi, how are you? Just coming from with Marion. Okay, okay. How's it going, all right? There's more over here than people. Well. <laughs> 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 You must be uh, well. You must yeah. You must be overpopulated. You must be overpopulated. You've got too many people. Yeah. 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 Not good. Not good. That's dangerous, eh? Yeah, he Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. It didn't take his number plate, no. Oh, he was one of those things where it happened so quick, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's no good. Uh, yeah, someone will, yeah. someone will get him. Oh, yeah. Know, yeah, it's it's a it's a bit. Of... Yeah. 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 Have to be. Yeah, yeah. Have to watch those people. They're, Road rage, eh? That's what you call it, road rage. Somebody will get him. You get hit, you, you can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, no, you'd be devastated. Yeah, you'd be devastated if that happened because you don't. Know, you're just in shock. You can't pull a camera out and take a photo. Of you. You're still, still kicking around, you've got to be just vigilant and watch out all the time now. Oh, um, it's all been over here? No, not yet. Oh, yeah. She oh, might, oh, she oh, might oh, come. Anyway. Yes. Oh, 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 yeah. I think your last little brother's going back tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, nice. I Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, no, she can... Oh, yeah. Oh, they're going back. Oh, yeah, right. Going back to... Where? Yeah. Yeah, she's got my number, I think. She can call me. Yeah, no, that's good. It'd be good. It's got some films in it I want to take off too. Um, uh, it's got some. I took some photos up there. On it. Some some photos. Yeah. Man, I haven't been feeling too too well lately. 
I just put, yeah, no, I just put on too much weight. I had some of that stuff to clean me out, but I'm just waiting to wait, wait, waiting for myself to calm down. My blood pressure went right up. And yeah, no, when I go, when I go four kgs over, I, I, I go like that. The blood pressure goes up, but I have to try and bloody uh, get some get some exercise. And I went. Yeah. I know you did something wrong, so um, I, I, I took, um, you know, a uh, uh, tea tree. Yeah, that was... I, I took two tea, I took two teaspoons of... Yeah. Two teaspoons of tea tree and the other stuff, and I put it all together and I put it half of it, and I uh, downed it, eh? Yeah, and then... And then, and then during that day, oh, you bloody hell, mate. That soon shifted. <laughs> oh, I did, you went to the tour, but you know? Yeah. About a half an hour later, it'll yeah, soon. Came out. Yeah, yeah. No, it shifts it. Huh? My sugar was 4.4. What's that, high or, or low? High. Is that high or low? Low. Oh, wow. My yeah, yeah. Well, because, um, you know, I'm really still gonna, oh, I'm gonna try to get out to the 127k. Yeah. And I'm gonna get my lead done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No and, I, and I know I can do it, you know? Yeah. I know I can do it, mate. Yeah, no, I just have to get off some of the I'm sugar. I'm gonna do that tomorrow about going to the fucking pub and getting pissed. <laughs> and no. I said, that's the least of my worries. Yeah, no, you have to get, get, get a bit of... Don't don't have too much sugar because that's been my problem is the the ice cream and and the and tin peaches. There's lots of sugar in the tin peach. And, oh, well, that's all our problem. Yeah, and, and it, it's a sugar. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So as long as when you sit with the Malaya, you eat all the cakes. Yeah, the cakes. Yeah, and I got the yeah the cakes and and I got the cakes because they're cheap. But um, but um, that's what the problem is, and I just had a bit of clean up this morning, and and I'm just settling down again after that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fine. I'll come right. The what? What's that? Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, we don't worry about. Don't worry about them. The less we know, the better. <laughs> I'm just keeping my eye on on the top end. Um, that's all. I'm, I'm not worrying about them. I, I know they're they're worrying about something. I, I won't know until until Willie rings me. He'll 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 want to go to that meeting, and so he'll he'll let me know what's happening um, at some stage I'll just let him ring me I won't I won't ring him I'll let him ring me uh, but I think I'd let, better let him know that the meeting is not on the, the 19th so it's on the 26th you're gonna be free for that day oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that'll be in, yeah that'll be important just before the, the treaty um, um, Waitangi Day on the, on the sixth, <clears throat> but I don't. I won't be going to the the Waitangi Day up there. I, I don't need to go up there anymore because I think they got the message. I'll 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 think of something yet. What to do? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Oh, no, we're just playing. We're just playing a bit at a time. I'm still, I'm still getting on with things. I tidied my whole house up and got all my documents all all on the table now, ready to bind up. I'm going to bind them up to start today, and I'm, hopefully I'll get them gone tomorrow. I've just got to uh, organise. Take a bit of while to to do them. I want to do them properly. Hmm. Not not going to rush. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I got I got time. I got I got plenty of time.
but I just want to make sure I get them right. Yeah, otherwise uh, that's that's where I'm at at the moment. I'm just copying everything up. and I've got my binder, I've got some combs, the things that you put in to bind them up with. I bought all those, bought all the back covers, the front covers, yesterday. And I'm just, stay, I'm just buying them all up today. And the new binding machine. So I've got all that gear now so I can make the books. Hello? Are you still there? Yeah. Oh, I thought you had gone. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you had gone. Yeah, I'm busy. yeah so I've, I've got... I, I, I can bind them up now and put all the new pages in and put them... I've separated that book, I, the big book I had and then um, I'm just making a cover with only your one in it, your, just one, and it's folded thing to put it inside it so that they'll seal, seal that book on its own um, for that title. Um, and all the rest of the single ones and then all the other ones I have stuck together as one. So save me, save me a, all the King William the Four Acts, I'll, I'll have them all as one, so that I don't have to do every one of them. You don't have to. Yeah, I'll just read it to make sure I, I know what's required. Yeah. No, that's, all, that's about all. I, I, I can't think of anything else other than just my, my women weight, getting it off to, like you, get the weight off. Yeah, but I'm feeling not 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 the best um, when I get like that, but a bit too much weight. I think it's just sitting around, not not going to exercise. That's I, I went for a walk, but I need more than a walk. I, I need I need to get back in the gym, but it, it's not time to go there. I'm always here at home all the time. Hmm. Yeah, make time. Oh, 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 yeah. Mm. Yeah, I have to. Oh, okay. You well, you. Yeah, you got an extra, extra, extra rubbish, eh? Lots more rubbish. Yeah, because it's still like the holiday period or the good weather. People are out, or straight after that storm, they'll have lots of rubbish for cleaning up. Yeah. yeah. And the bloody uh, tide come right up in some places in Kaiowa and all that. They got a bit drowned over there. Mm. So that's about all I got for now. Yeah, other than. Have a rest, man. Yeah. yeah. So what time are you supposed to go out tomorrow? Two o'clock in the morning again? Four o'clock? Oh, she, she goes in and she comes down. I'll go up when I'll go. Oh, I know. What's for lunch? What's for lunch? What do you want for lunch? Oysters? No, 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 no. She found me a, a rump steak. Oh, that's nice. Sounds nice. Eh? That sounds good. Yeah, rump steak. I'm rump going to... steak. Oh, my sister bought us a... Oh, my sister, um, she bought us some powers. Oh, I gave her five fucking big barbs. Hey. How do you... I'm going to get me some kinners on Wednesday they get, they're at Mungary, at the fish, fish shop Mungary, get my, my kinners. That'll fix me up. Always the kinners works. <laughs> Yeah. 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 You should just get on the bus, mate, and I'll pick you up. You should get on them. <laughs> you can just sit there and go to sleep on the bus. 
The tourists will sit beside you. And I'm on the bus going to Mount Eagle Jail. The, the, those, tourists, those tourists, those backpackers on the bus might give you a backpack and tell you to go with them. <laughs> and they'll say, are you the man, the money man? Uh, they might say to you, are you the money man? <laughs> I've seen you. I've seen you going up the road and you're money man. <laughs> yeah, I'll just, I'll just, yeah. I got, I got my house all cleaned up. They have inspection. To, to make sure I've got no 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 rubbish in my house. <laughs> yeah. I have an inspection. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah they're coming around too. Oh. Hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll catch you on, on Wednesday or Thursday or something like that. I'll give you an update. Hello. Okay. Okay, mate. Have a nice day. Thank you. All right. Oh well. Bye. All right. Uh, um, I'm not feeling the best today, as you can see, don't look too well, don't feel too well either. I had some breakfast but brain's not the best, I've been on the computer too long and I've got the three of them going now, one, two, three, one, two, three. And Trying to catch up, but I'm sorting all my books and everything out here. I've got I've got all all the things over here now. All the things set up over here. Look, I'm going to get all these documents here and undo them. All in here. I'll just put them over here while I'm tidying up my things over here. Over there, just about there. And there, there's a one two computer, two computer, three computer. See, and the top of the <clears throat> All going at the same time, and I'm sleeping right in the middle of it. And all that and radiation is not good. Not good at all, but I think I'm on my last lap in this place. Um, I, I think I've had my long enough stay here. I'm going to start making headway into projects. I think my boy's got something going. <coughs> And I've got something going with Morris. <clears throat> Not good that he's um, he had a bit of a mishap on the road. <clears throat> I was a motorbike guy. I don't like hearing that sort of thing. But um, that's the hazards of a job like that. When you get somebody on a road rage, um, spoil things. Yeah, so I'm going to. Um, sort this um, printing out and put all the main documents together, stitch them up. I've got all the binding and cones, the cones, these are the cones, cones here, 6 millimeter and 10 millimeter to um, the cones. To um, put the that's in there. The comes to stitch up the documents. That's not that big. Ten millimeter. I should have got a bigger one. And the backings. Reach the, the back there. Back and then the plastic clear plastic cover. I might as well open them up. I won't be going into those afterwards and start to put them together in documents like this one. See, there's a small one there. <coughs> and some of these I want to apostolize, like this one. I think this one. It's got the pound notes in it. And um, the Panama Papers in it. And apostolize this and um, the countries that are caught up in it with John T. So that's one.
and the names of them there. So that's one apostolate, so I'll pay for each apostolate. And there you can see Venice Augustus here. And I've got Kingi Todua in there. But the thing is, it's a conflict of interest in Queen Victoria and King William IV. So I'm singling out everything. These, this is, these have, these have been put together at the time on this date, the second to the sixth of February. This was put together with the magistrate court in Tati Marae in the paddock, five o'clock in the morning. This was put together. So these are legal in a sense on the Marae, and this big one was put together as well. There's a few more pages. But that's got a, that's a 10 millimeter. This one is a bit bigger. I have to get an 8 millimeter there. And so this one again, uh, this is the one with Ref Ref of Manukau here. And Chris Phillipson right there. So I've locked him to this um, citation. Um, fact evidence and this oh, this is the one this is Oye Manukau's title here this for New Zealand this Whakapapa with the Wanoas, the Rogans and the Manukau's and that's it there and it's been sealed and stamped at the, at the Hui's and this is the East Coast at 1831 in 1823, William B. Baker opened up this um, <coughs> magistrate office in Rangitukia School, 1823. So here is 1831, the Church of St. Mary's Church in um, Tiki Tiki. And so this is, um, this is uh, another apostoly. I'm going to get this book apostolized, this carving here. Um, and King William IV and his gold, gold coins and his acts. I've got another book to go together with his, his acts of 1830, 1830 to 1837 acts of William will be in a book like this, apostolized. I'm getting it apostolized. Um, so this book will be apostolized. And the country of New Zealand, the title with Te Rawaikato for the Hedi Hedi Manikau that I've been talking about in um, Mangatotari. I'm claiming Mangatotari back to Poharapa where I'm my father in law, the Mehinui's, live. And they live there on that Marae. And I went to um, Forest Products with um, uh, Win Tauti. Winner. Tauti. Tauti. He was um, um, in the tractor shop in the uh, garage uh, with me in Togaro and Killy's Mills. So Win Tauti, I'll look up the Tautis to get someone to meet when I go down there and um, stitch them to this title. So this is, this is uh, an apostoly with all the relevant information on um, um, the history, right marked there, at 1834 in this flag here, yeah, um, stitched to, um, to the title in all these flags well, marked. Um, making the history go back to what it's supposed to be, that they've altered it. This is the true history of um, this country and not the Maori Iwi crown. History is incorrect. So I'm making this for the record for Britain uh, to put the record straight. That's Tiki Tiki, um, St Mary's Church, where I come from, 1831. You can see the old cars there. Now this will be online, well most of it is online in bits and pieces here and there. Um, 
Um, so um, you will see John Key right there. Right? If this this is on his head. This this pound note is on his head. And the 970 million trillion trillion pound note's on his head. It should be in here somewhere. Um, all the information, writ of execution, warrant. So I've got enough here to actually take them all out back into the British government. And the Queen signed off and went into the EU Parliament. There's the 970 million trillion trillion pound note there. And this is getting apostolised. And once it's apostolised, that's a British story. Dennis Augustus V, the reigning monarch, King of Britain, UK, Hanover, Altair, New Zealand, Pacific Islands, and the Commonwealth countries of the world, 250 countries with this flag. He is our legal, legitimate partner, as being under Salic law, forbids women to succeed to the throne, and he's our oath of office in Westminster Parliament right now. I'm putting him in there. I'm putting him into Westminster Parliament. I'm nominating him to go in <coughs> with the remaining chiefs here as being partners to him, Ma Ma um, um, Morris Baker. Um, here, um, as being a partner with me to go to Britain. Um, so that's mainly the Panama Papers, and you'll see this page here with John Key there, to be apostolised. These are true and correct. And that's a better picture of um, Ernest Augustus. Ernest Augustus. <clears throat> so I'm dressed up as a surrogate for King William the Third, King William the Fourth, King George the Fourth. Okay, right there, and that's me there. I'm standing in till Dennis Augustus is put on the side because the Queen has gone. She's trying to shut down Westminster. And it's a bit too late for that. And we've got Lef Lef Manukau here, and Rogan, the receipt, and his name in capitals. You might not be able to see it there. His name is in capitals, that means he's a co corporate landowner. He's a commercial landowner of New Zealand, the whole country. And um, because that's New Zealand country right there. Okay, Tira Waikato Wharehirehire Manukau is the commercial landowner of New Zealand and Pacific Islands. Okay, and Ngāti Parau, I'm afraid your history is wrong. This is the correct history for Uetaha Hapu, Chiefs in Potikirua, Te Waipu area here, and this map here, all the other People who got there later than 1831 is marked on here. And all those tribes in Tiaroro, Hicks Bay, Rotoria, all around there came later than 1831. 1831 on a British title there. The same with Moira Hoffman's title. It'll be in a book like this on her Russell family. As much as I say whatever uh, with Moira, she was good enough to give me her books. It's good enough for me to honour her family as being part of the history of how these British titles came together. The point of interest is the um, fact that Russells went on both sides of the crown, the Queen's crown and the King's crown. And it was the way you interpret how your authority, jurisdiction, which one you are using. I'm sticking to the King's jurisdiction 
<clears throat> and it's really in the detail of your documents how it's going to stack up. Now I'm saying just the Queen has gone. She has abandoned ship in Britain and gone into the EU Parliament as a threat on the British government, Brexit, Brexit and us, <coughs> with the flag, as a contract partner. That's the threat. Now I've got uh, Daryl Payne, um, he's putting something together for his titles in um, California and Renee Powers <coughs> as a matter of jurisdiction. I've allowed him to use certain parts of documents that are under King William III, King William IV and King George IV, three kings and three chiefs, Hori Tikuri from Taheke Marae Magistrate Court in Hokianga Harbour <coughs> at 1823 to 1888, in particular 1882, and that part of the King William IV uh, title as applied to the time of Rewhere Manukau, 1830 to 1862 Native Land Act in New Zealand. The New Zealand Native Land Act 1862 was formed under this Te Rewa Katoa Wharehere of Manukau in here and <coughs> Rogan. The mischievous in the way they write things and leave names out and put names half a name and a cross for signatures and all sorts of things but I'm looking right through all of that and I'm looking at who did what with these lands. Now it's up to me to say what happens on these lands as far as we are concerned, who's occupying them and who has the legal right of the kings to be on it. Otherwise, they'll be in for a term, term, termination of title. If they are found to be fraudulent, then the rest is all fraudulent. But I'm saying here, that um, I can't find the referee for Manikau's title um, is here. It's in a long form here. Okay, at 1862 Native Land Act uh, here with Rogan. That was sold uh, Pukekohe uh, Oatawa uh, land, and it's got um, it quite clear there who saw what and who bought what and who made a deal with who. And that was under King William III and this flag, okay, 1834, in that time period. Not Queen Victoria, not Queen Elizabeth II, but that time period. Now, the Queens cannot put an Admiralty title together, not at all. They had to go on the King's Admiralty, and that's what I'm going on and me as being a contract direct to Britain, UK. If anybody's got any of documents that look like these, you might be getting somewhere, but you need all this in its legal form, signed, sealed, and the eight-point star, to claim the eight-point star on this flag, and make that you are that person. And that's what I'm doing with these documents now. Today, I'll be putting them together. Now, I just want to explain here one more time with Daryl. Um, um, you're watching this, Daryl. Um, today, I'll put this video on later. Um, really didn't want to get into personal things with me and um, um, Morris, but however, we're straight up. We got nothing to hide. We don't mind talking about ourselves and our daily lives. Uh, it does matter. Um, on what they're in the community, both of them, um, picking rubbish up, that's a job. It's not a very nice job, but with the amount of rubbish that is around the place, they go and pick it up. Um, so I'm just going to go and have a look at my site and see what's going on while well, we've got some time on the uh, video. Um, <coughs> I'll just have a look what's 
Bell's posting at the moment. He's got a few posts here. Oh, there he is. So he's our agent in California. Uh, so he's following Tira Waikato Wharihiri in Manukau. Here, and that, I put this on yesterday. This document here of Hongi Hika meets King George the Fourth. Now this document here, believe it or not, it's got the answers are there. And here, here is here. <coughs> December the 2nd, 1935, that was put out. Uh, now, this part here, I want to come here to this. Okay. The king gave the chiefs courtesy titles. Waikaro was style Prince Waikaro. There we go. Prince Waikaro. He had a title. The name Waikaro. There. Hongi and he were each given, amongst other presents, gold-mounted double-barrel flint lock guns on their which their names were engraved. These weapons, the best makes procurable at the time, were particularly acceptable to King Hongi and Prince Waikaro. King King Hongi. Hmm. So that's that. that that's um, if he gave it to King Hongi, then King Hongi was the musket man, and Prince Waikaro was more the king with the documents. Uh, they soon came useful, in the, but this is this this wording has been fashioned because King, King Hongi had no history. Only this Waikato Manukau had the history of the land, not Hongi. Hongi didn't have any um, any any. It's Waikato River, Waikato area, and Manukau Harbour, Manukau everything, Manukau city, and everything was around this Waikato Manukau. Um, and his brother, Whare Puaka, um, sister was perhaps the second wife, Waikaro would say, who are you? I have sh shaken hands with the king and you would not be allowed even to see him. So this is a little bit of history again of who, they don't say the full name. I'm saying the full name of this Waikaro chief is Tera Waikato Whare Here Here Manikau and I've put it right on my site. It's for anybody to deny or refute what I'm saying. Alright? Hama. If they use threat it to risk and null and void, it's not in respect to international law and precedents being the Magna Carta and its consequence amendments due to the same reason. <clears throat> so, um, that's a comment I'm getting for that. Um, I'll go back to this other one. Oh, this other one. Oh, that's the, another one from the um, Canada. I've got my friend over there, um, Harvey and um, Raymond, faithful, to um, sort out yet. That's um, Dean Murray. Uh, he's done a lot of work with me. And uh, I owe it to him, and we'll sort him out when I get things through. He has been behind me financially, and he has his place in the business. Right, I've done this. I'll read. I'll read this out. Tera Waikato Whareherehere Manukau meets King George IV and sells New Zealand country in a two-party partnership magistrate court private contract. The British told him if he doesn't make the agreement, Britain would take it regardless. This contract still exists as only contract partner can sever that two-party contract with the correct legal documents to prove the Manukau Moriori King George IV Crown Land Patent deed title of discovery why Maori Iwi Crown has no claim to this private commercial contract or King William IV, 1834, State of Emergency, Martial Law, Declaration of War flag over the third party pirates in the Ma Maori, Pakeha, Queen Victoria and Queen Rothschild Bank War thugs, with Queen III abandoning the King's ship and joining the EU Parliament, now a threat to King George and King William IV brothers, flag contract with Tirawakato Whareherehere Manukau. 
make sure you don't forget this chief's name because the pirates hid it away in their universities and bullshitted Maori history to suit their fraud game. It's time to hang them high, hundred at a time, now that you have woken up. So that's what I'm saying publicly, as being what I say goes. Is New Zealand at war with Israel now? So that statement was put out at some time ago. And there's our flag there, and Waitangi on the ship of Admiralty there. I won't show this one because it's bad of that police. That policeman is going to lose it. So that's that part of it. Um, Okay. What was that about? Ah, that's another one. Water. Now, that's all I wanted to do there. I'll just go back to my site and just check back on what I've been putting up. Foreclosure. Anything with foreclosure and land titles, <coughs> deeds, and all that, um, the same as what I'm doing with Daryl has deed titles and he's using part of the um, Trump's, um, what do you call it, Trump's um, state of emergency martial, uh, martial plan, martial law plan. There's my friend there, Daryl. Um, <coughs> just wait for him to reply off the phone. Now, I want to say this to those people um, up in Napui. If you're thinking of using um, a king up there, uh, Hongi, as a king, then I don't think that's going to work because Hongi had no contract. So please don't get mixed up with these documents. Don't get mixed up with these documents because I've got a whole heap of them in there all the way down. This is full right up all the way down. And at the back there, there's more. Okay, see, these all bound up. I did all these. I took them to the hui's up north and I numbered them so they won't go missing. And I, 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 if I took the whole lot, I would take all those ones here and all these ones here and behind, it's all full in, in there. So please don't, don't use anything at Waitangi. I know, I can predict what's going to happen up on Waitangi Day. I'm not going to Waitangi Day. Oh, John's just catching up on Facebook with course and the Queen. Okay. Okay, she is trying to shut down. 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 Westman's pump.
give you a pity party. Pity party. Oh, give you a pity party. Party. There, I, I was holding it in one hand and typing the other. Oh, she's shut up, where's my son? Catching up on Facebook. Um, that's Daryl there, he's um, in California. Um, so um, he's a little bit intrigued with that bike. I wouldn't mind one of those. You can see me on that. I can handle that. Um, <clears throat> but I don't feel too well today. I might fall off. Um, so I'm just saying. Uh, that he he has fashioned some documents um, and emailed them to me. It's about 28, 30 of them all together. So I went through them and checked. I can speed read and um, let him go ahead with um, um, his notices with an attachment to um, the um, this one here with these writs of warrant here and these documents here. Okay, so that's Paul Murray there, and, but um, I'm saying these will be apostoly as one. One set, there's the whakapapa there, of the Rogans, the Wanors, and the Manukau's to back up the Manukau king, or Manukau chief, Paramount. He's a Paramount. They said, they said, that, see, where they made the mistake is, on the document, on this... Here, here, this one, when they say the king gave the chief's courtesy titles, Waikato was styled Prince Waikato, Hongi, and he, um, the king gave the chief's courtesy titles, Waikato, Hongi, Hongi, Hongi was Mr. King Hongi, but they don't have kings um, um, here in uh, Ngāpui. Not that I know, there's only King Juhetia down um, in Tainui, <clears throat> but they don't have anything documented. I'm documenting who's who, and I don't have a, 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 a King Hongihika or a King anybody else. Um, and that other King Hori, um, if anybody's muck, mucking around with this Hori Tikuri, you got, you're in for it. You, you, you're going to get these pound notes slammed right on your head. Right on your head, because I'm taking them out now. I'm, I'm making headway into that. See, I've been advertising all of these with things on the head, right? That's, that's Satan Mark on the heads. On the head, Rothschild, John Key, um, Edelfon, Nicholas Patron. And, and I, I did this a while back, and nothing, nothing said but it's coming up to that now. This one here was way back uh, when Ma Mohi Manukau got the, the flags for, um, uh, flags, the 20, 20, 20 flags I sent with uh, Mohi Manukau to um, Malta. And that Iru Manukau signed it right there at that time, that document. So I've done a lots of documents, so heaps of documents, and that's the Nukatele Waka on the East Coast. Now look at that. that that's, this is exact. Now I can't see anybody putting things like this together in all the Urupas here. Urupas here to fix ourselves to the land and to this Waka here that's standing on my land block at Haho 7B at Rangitukia where <coughs> this um, magistrate um, was resident at, um, um, high, at, the high, at the school, um, the school there, uh, as the magistrate, resident magistrate, um, William B. Baker, where that waka is parked right there, in the school there, on the east coast of here. Okay? So, these are all exact. You, you can't go away from this here. And, um, all the fuck up everything. So I'm gonna set up the other ones today. My sister had quad workers, all girls now. I won the national uh, they have, oh, well. 
Okay, I'll just fuck them up. <coughs> I'll just finish. I'll just. I'll just finish. Video off. Off. In left hand. Okay. Um, you see the machine over there? Look, that's the old one, Palo. It was Palo. Those old machines. Now we used to have one of those. There, like that. Look. So that's um, something of <coughs> nostalgia. Um, who else is there? No, 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 I'll go back here. I'll go back here. Uh, I'll go back to this other site. I want to show you something, what I was doing in the last couple of days. I'll take you here to here, my other, one of my other 97 sites. There was 107, but now there's 97. I'm not going to look around for the other ones, they're somewhere. That's when I got all scammed and got it all back. This is the uh, Tidal Energy site. <coughs> and 60 of these tidal bridges are going into the ocean. So I've been drawing up the um, plan for it. I keep modifying the plans all the time. It's okay. Go ahead, I'm reading everything lots. Okay. Okay. What's going on? Trump must go out on Monday and Paul Ryan in temporary. What? I'm reading everything that's going on. Heard Trump may go out on Monday. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Um, he's in the record. He's caught up. Trump is in the record. Yeah, you can see um, what I've just put. Trump is in the record. Watching Britain video on what they think about him. He's done. He's done for. Okay. Okay. See you after. See you after. So that's my mate, Daryl. Uh, I'll go back to this other uh, site here. This is the ship I was supposed to get. It's a pity I didn't get it, but never mind. I'm going to get this one. Um, and that drone there to do all the site plans. But I'm um, looking at these buildings here, getting them fabricated for the building site as um, get, get them made up or buy the containers <coughs> and I'm going to build it like this on top of the bridge out in um, Ranfilly Bank. I'm just making this uh, public announcement now. What's happening here? Okay, okay, give them a bit of fingers up. Yep. Alright, now I'll go back here before the film runs out. So I'm going to build these modular steel buildings, like how they've done here, on top of the bridge. <coughs> and I'll put a few um, few um, things. I'm, I'm doing cost analysis on containers, using containers, or buying all these uh, like this and making it up ourselves, uh, making the whole um, um, thing. Um, construction, but doing it this way, there's all that space is lost in these frames um, that I feel the containers would be better to use the space inside and the strength of it on the four corners to hold things up. And like you see containers stacked up on top of each other, 
that's the scenario I want to have at um, a higher uh, reefer, the high cube um, type. Um, so I've been going over my old uh, digs and getting a few ideas of doing things. These are too expensive to to do these um, floating ships that sink and lift things up. I'll, I'll find it the best way.